everyone it's audrey with audrey's variety show and today i am very excited to um share with you all my very first um installment in my books of wisdom series starting with proverbs 1. uh i'm going to be just doing a quick overview or bible study and breakdown of of the verses in the text uh, i'm going to start by reading the entire the entire chapter and then going back and doing a breakdown uh line upon line precept upon precept type of thing uh, and giving my thoughts and and things that point that i found interesting and that that jumped out as at me um through reading it uh but first i'm going to go ahead and get to the reading of the text and then we'll jump into breaking down what we find uh, in Proverbs 1. Now, these, the format for these might change uh, as I get better at this and find out what really works um, for me in, in doing these Bible studies. And um, hopefully uh, with me doing this, I can share with you my thoughts on how to apply wisdom and what we find in these um, and, and what we read to apply it to uh, our day-to-day -day life. But with that being said, uh, if you would like to follow along, uh, I will be reading from the New King James Version of the Bible. And if you'd like to follow along, go ahead and get Proverbs 1 open and we'll start. Proverbs 1, verse 1. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel. To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive instruction of wisdom, justice, judgment, and equity, to give prudence to the simple, to the young man, knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and increase learning and a man of understanding will attain wise counsel to understand the proverb and an enigma the words of the wise and the riddles the fear of the lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instruction my son hear the instruction of your father and do not forsake the law of your mother for they will be a graceful ornament on your head and the chains around your neck. My son, if sinners entice you, do not consent. If they say, come with us, let us lie in wait to shed blood. Let us lurk secretly for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them alive like Sheol and whole like those who go down to the pit. We shall find all kinds of precious possessions we shall fill our house with spoil. Cast your lot among us. Let us all have one purse. My son, do not walk in the way of them and keep your foot from their path. For their feet run to evil and they shall make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain in the net is spread in the sight of any bird, but they lie in wait for their own blood they lurk secretly for their own lives. So are they the ways of anyone who is greedy for gain. It takes away the life of its owners. Proverbs 1 verse 20. Wisdom calls aloud outside. She raises her voice in the open squares. She cries out in the chief concourses at the openings of the gates in the city. And she speaks her, her words. How long will you simple ones, will you love simplicity? For scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn at my rebuke. Surely you will pour out, I will pour out my spirit on you. I will make my words known to you, because I have called you and you have refused. I have stretched out my hand 
and no one regarded, because you disdained all of my counsel and would have none of my rebuke, I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your terror comes, when your terror comes like a storm and your destruction comes like a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you. Then they will call out, call on me, but will, I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but I will, they, they will not find me because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would have none of my counsel and despise my every rebuke. Therefore, they shall eat the fruit of their own way and be filled to the full with their own fancies. For the turning away of the simple, I will slay them. I'm sorry. For the turning away of the simple will slay them, and the complacency of fools will destroy them. But whoever listens to me will dwell so safely and will be secure without evil. All right. So that was Proverbs 1. So now that we've read, we've read the entire thing, let's go ahead and um, break down the verses. Um, my, now, my breakdown is it's just like a, my own personal breakdown. The first one is going to be uh, verses 1 through 4. And, um, and uh, I just wrote down some notes here on, on stuff that stuck out to me and just the overall generalization of these verses. But... Uh, let's go ahead and start with one, verses 1 through 4. Um, we start out with uh, uh, an address of, uh, of Sol- that Solomon um, is, is uh, writing this, uh, writing Proverbs 1 or addressing Proverbs 1. And uh, he's, sharing, he's sharing what he knows about wisdom and knowledge. And how to attain those things. Uh, we, it, it clearly says here in uh, verses 2 and 3 uh, that um, to have um, wisdom and to perceive the words for understanding, you have to uh, have instructions. So uh, what I wrote down is... Um, to have instruction to to attain knowledge and wisdom. So I'm going to go ahead and move on from that. And then I started with uh, verses 5 through 7. And in 5 through 7, I, I um, all I wrote down was that um, a wise man will hear and listen. And I took note of hear and listen because we often, you know, we'll hear something, but we aren't really listening to it. Kind of like when like, we have our TVs on and like it's background noise. We hear it, but we're not really listening. Uh, that's what I get from uh, from um, from these verses. That well, you have to be able to hear and listen, uh, process what what you're what you're hearing. I think that's and to me that's what listening is. Um, processing what you hear, and uh, and it also gives a differentiation between a wise man and a man who understands. I think that that's that's a key note in this as well. Like just because you understand something or how it works doesn't make you wise about it. So we also have that in verse five that you and. Uh, that a man who under has understanding of what he's learning will attain wise counsel. So there's a differentiation right there between those two. We have the wise man who can hear and increase in learning, and the man who can understand and will seek counsel from a wise man, I guess you could say. At least that's what uh, that's what I'm understanding from from this verse, and then to understand a proverb, which is what we're we're 
doing right now, trying to understand a proverb um, and an enigma uh, is, um, and to understand like a, like a riddle. When I think of a riddle in, in this context, I think of like a, um, like, a, um, like the parables that, that, uh, that Jesus uh, would, would uh, use to teach the, you know, to teach people about how things work here on earth and in in um and in heaven but uh for those of you that don't know like uh an enigma is just like a, a mystery or a puzzling or something difficult to understand and it also says here in oops sorry let me go back a second uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and destruction. So only foolish people don't want to hear uh, wisdom or, or be instructed upon anything. Now in verses 8 and 9, we have here as talking about um, your your parents, your mother and your father, and um and to and to pretty much listen to what they have to say because they have experience in life to to help you and give you good counsel and instruction on how to go about your own life and your own decision making and uh they said that it's like um and the, the, it's saying that it's like a like a graceful ornament on your head like like having the instruction and wisdom and knowledge uh, and rules that your family has set in place on how to be and conduct yourself are, are like a like beautiful um jewelry um on your head and around your neck uh, as you can see here in the corner when when i was visualizing this i visualized you know having like a, a crown or or you know nice jewelry and, and those things, they symbolize, you know, what your parents have taught you. But that's just my own personal visualization of, of upon reading the text. All right, now verses 10 through 15. Verses 10 through 15. Um, uh, I pretty much said, I guess it's like uh, staying away from people who obviously have the intent to harm other people and um and uh like stealing and killing and 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 all of that and to steer clear of that path uh solomon is saying here that um if you if you hear if you have people around you saying you know um let's let's you know lie and wait to to essentially you know hurt or or kill someone um or uh, go around trying to find um people's possessions and um uh, and and steal them from other people to stay away from all of that don't don't <laughs> um don't don't go that path don't go down that route uh, for yourself. And um, in verses um, 16 through 19, um, a continuation of the, fir the verses 10 through 15 and kind of saying why, why you shouldn't um, go down that path of stealing and killing and and cheating other people um because it pretty much means to their own own doom uh, as, as it as it like as it highlights in verse 19 uh, but i think that's that's pretty straightforward like if you're going down a certain path these are the consequences of that path
And now verse 20 through 22, uh, we get a we get a break of uh, from that because uh, now we have this. All of a sudden, we have a uh, this this uh, personification of wisdom, or this um, as a woman, which I find interesting. Like wisdom is is personified as a woman in the text, and we get a break from you know what we already kind of broke down and discovered about how to uh how to attain wisdom and knowledge um the types of people who who uh who are wise and just simply understand and we have the consequences of of people who um choose to do wrong and unrighteous things and then we get a break from that and now we're in verse 22 20 to 22 and it's talking about and wisdom is is essentially just pleading with people for for them to listen to her um and it talks about being being simple and uh when i when i think about just being simple like kind of to me it was kind of like taking the easy way out like not being kind of flippant I guess you could say maybe flip, but you don't really too care too much uh, about what's going on. Uh, you don't care to know anything, and um, she's essentially pleading for her, someone to listen to um, the wisdom that she has to share. And now we get this in in this. Um, last um, 10 verses this large chunk verses 23 through 33 i um i'm sorry i don't know why i have a b right there <laughs> i don't know but in this last large chunk these last 10 verses uh essentially we get the consequences of a person not listening to the voice of wisdom when she was trying to give it. And she essentially um, says that, you know, since you rejected my wise counsel and you didn't want to hear what I had to say, that could have spared you a lot of um, calamity in your life, as, as you see right here in um, uh, verse 26, I will laugh at your calamity and mock your terror outcomes. Um, there's, at this point, it's too little too late. Like at this point, you know, uh, there's nothing left, uh, to happen or to do besides watch you reap what you sow or, or, or play out the consequences of you not heeding, uh, your wise words. And, uh, one of the things that, uh, the wise words that someone was trying to give you and, uh, and she and now that now that something bad is happening um to those who didn't want to hear it in the first place um the wisdom was no longer found as we see in verses 28 through 29 um we see that uh wisdom is no longer to be found uh, she, they, she's she's moved on she's moved on from from those that didn't want to 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 listen they they had no fear or res, no fear of of the consequences. They had no fear of the Lord, which is, you know, not just being afraid of God, but also having a respect of God to just to um, to do the right thing for the one who created you. Uh, but yeah, we see that and. Now they have their 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 reward. Then their reward is uh, here in verses thirty one. We we see they 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 therefore they shall eat the fruit of their own way. Basically, they 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 sow the seed of of stealing and killing, as we saw in uh, in verses uh, ten through fifteen, and. Now they now they get to eat it, and verse 
that's pretty much um, all I have for this. And obviously, those who listen to wisdom's uh, instruction and counsel will will be safe. And they don't have to fear like evil coming upon them because they have listened to the spirit of wisdom and, and her counsel and, and guiding you down a righteous path as we see here in verse 33. So, I mean, um, and so just by, by reading this, I mean, it, it seems pretty clear and pretty obvious which way we should go down and what we should do. But as we know, you know, that's not always the case. So here in the last last bit, like the, the summarization, the takeaway that I got from Proverbs 1 is um, gaining wisdom by listening to instruction and having a willingness to want to understand. And, and upon, you know, wanting to understand something and going back and checking with someone who has, who is wise, we get we ourselves can can become wise but that's just my my interpretation my my understanding of this um obviously and then as we saw um from verses 10 through 33 we have like a wisdom and knowledge will keep us going in a in the right direction on a on a righteous path not to say our lives won't be will be just you know sunshine and rainbows but we spare ourselves a lot of hurt and harm and just calamity by steering clear of of, of bad things and the consequences of not uh, aren't, aren't pleasant. But that's all I have for my very first um, Bible study of the Proverbs 1. Um, Thank you for listening and watching. And uh, if you have any comments on how I can improve or just want to share um, your thoughts on Proverbs 1 or if this helped you in any way, uh, I'd be glad to hear it. Uh, please like, um, share, or subscribe to the channel um, if you like any of my content. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.